Hello Aries, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys. For you guys, ooh, excuse me, for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Aries? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Aries. Please and thank you. Ooh, the sun. So you guys may be attracting a lot of energy towards you with the sun energy coming through. Um, Feeling extremely happy. If you guys aren't feeling that currently, you will be. Feeling very optimistic, happy. And that's what's going to allow you to attract a lot of energy towards you. But keep in mind, good and bad, because negative energy is definitely attracted to the light. But I definitely am getting like your light is shining bright, or it will be. So someone definitely went uh, through a spiritual awakening, a spiritual healing. Because it seems like whatever, whatever was uh, dimming your light has been removed. And that's why you're shining very bright. And you'll be attracting a lot of opportunities and people towards you. Let's see. Who is thinking of Aries at this current moment? Who is currently thinking of Aries? Knight of Cups. Okay, so someone who wants to make a romantic proposal towards you. This may be someone that you find very attractive as well with the Knight of Wands. But quite possibly, this is someone that you've moved on from or you at least try to move on from because with the lovers showing up, this is someone that you have a strong spiritual connection with. You share a strong spiritual connection with. Some of y'all can't explain why you feel this way about this person or why you still feel this connection. Some of y'all, both of you, you try to move on from each other and neither one of you were successful. But this person definitely plans on coming towards you. What are their intentions? What intentions do they have towards Aries? What intentions do they have? Ace of Cups, they want to offer you their love. You're the one they want to give their love to. They want to have a new beginning in love with you. All right. What is the most likely outcome between Aries and this person? Six of Coins, a generous relationship. I definitely am getting like you and this person. Your love language is giving. The both of you want that person that you can trust to give your heart to, to give your everything to. They want it just as much as you do. But I definitely am getting like you'll be as generous to this person as they are to you. So I see a well-balanced connection between you and this person. What is the advice for Aries regarding this situation? What is the advice for Aries? Page of Wands. Go for it. Live in the moment. Enjoy this time. It's building towards the Ten of Pentacles. I definitely am getting like a very successful connection between you and this person. And it does look like it's someone from the past. If not, then it's someone that has like a familiar spirit is what I'm getting. But I definitely am getting just go for it. Live in the moment. Have fun. Enjoy this time with this person, but you're definitely moving towards the Ten of Pentacles with them. So it's someone that you will build a strong foundation with. You'll build a legacy with this person. You'll have everything with this person, the finances, the happy home, the happy community. So I definitely am getting a connection where you will be surrounded by a lot of love, you and this person. Anything else about this situation that Aries needs to know? Anything else about this situation? Emperor. Okay. Uh, for one, I definitely am getting that this person is very protective over you. I am getting that you are someone who has been wounded by several different people. Okay. And one thing about this person is that they are very protective. They don't play those type of games. So the emperor is like this father energy. They may be slightly older than you, but that doesn't have to be the case. This is just the energy that they're taking on. This very protective energy. And they also have a lot of resources as well. So either they're well-connected 
I definitely am getting there financially stable. The emperor is always financially stable. More than more than a lot of other people. Because the emperor is where all the kings desire to be. I definitely am getting with this person being in your life. You definitely feel more stable. Okay, because it may have felt like it was just you against the world for some time. Give me more about this Nine of Wands. More about this Nine of Wands. High Priestess. Five of Wands. Okay. For one, I'm getting that you had to learn to keep things to yourself with the High Priestess energy. This advises you not to share all your business with everyone because some people... They either want to steal your ideas. They want to be you. You have people who are envious of you. I definitely am getting you have some people who, for one, are envious of you. There's a lot of jealousy. But I'm also getting, like, you attract a lot of suitors. You've had people who fought, who were fighting for your attention, your time, your affection. They wanted to be the one that you ended up with. But I'm also getting this energy of, I don't know, someone has siblings or you may have family members. Some of you guys may not have the best of friends because it looks like you have some people in your life. And you may have felt like these people were, I'm getting like they, someone may have dealt with a situation where someone could try to set them up. I'm not quite sure how that went about, but I definitely am getting a, someone who has had a lot of enemies but there was nothing that you did to these people other than just be yourself and what they didn't like they don't like the attention you get they they see you as someone who's highly desired by a lot of people in multiple ways but they feel like you just get things effortlessly like you just naturally attract what you desire and you do possess like this higher knowledge as well you possess more knowledge than a lot of other people feel like they have access to and they want that they want whatever energy you have okay so i definitely am getting like it's some people who try to compete with you but you just stay in your own lane you do your own thing and that seems to aggravate them even more. But it's like every time they try to do something to like set you up, the universe protected you and guided you out of uh, harm's way. And then they have to answer for whatever they were trying to do. So I'm not quite sure who these people are to you. But I definitely am getting like you've dealt with this type of energy for some time. Well, with this person in your life, they're definitely not going to have, they're definitely not going to stand a chance. But I definitely am getting like you've been protected from the, uh, from these energies by the divine. It may be hurtful to you as well, of course, because I definitely am getting you're someone who has a big heart. You mean well. All right. Tell me more about this emperor energy. Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, big happy changes, growth and expansion as well. You will be celebrating, okay? You have big happy changes. There is a partnership coming in and it looks like you'll be extremely proud to be in this partnership with this person. And I definitely am getting like with this person in your life, it looks like this is someone who's gonna bring a lot of opportunities into your life as well. So I'm not quite sure what this person does, but it definitely looks like they have like they have a lot of resources is basically what I'm getting. That's going is like this person coming into your life is definitely going to open up a lot of doors for you. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else do you need to know? We'll get a general message and messages about your finances as well. Okay. What does Aries need to know at this current moment? What do they need to know at this current moment? You will be successful. So someone here who has been trying to achieve some sort of goal, they're wanting you to know that you will be successful. 
Looks like your finances will be going very well. You'll be doing very well. So if that's something that you've been stressing about, then it's not necessary for you to continue to stress over it. What are the blockages that they are being forced to face at this time? What blockages are they being forced to face at this time? Strength. So someone here may have been questioning how strong they actually are. Some of you, some of you guys may have been saying that you're not strong enough to do something. And that could be for, uh, the furthest from the truth. They want you to realize how strong you actually are. Okay. And it's okay to lean on help every once in a while. You don't have to do everything on your own as well. But I definitely am getting that you're way stronger than you give yourself credit for. What is the energy coming towards Aries? Judgment. So some sort of sudden realization, some sort of awakening. What is this judgment about? What will this judgment be about? Some of you guys healing. Healing from what? Okay. Well, you have big happy changes coming in. Knight of Swords, you definitely are protected as well. Knight of Swords is Mark, uh, Mark, Archangel Michael energy for me. It lets me know that you are being protected as well. Um, some of y'all are going to have this sudden realization of how protected you actually are. And you're going to learn to work with the universe more in order to bring big, happy changes into your life. I'm getting some of y'all may benefit from connecting with Archangel Michael if, if you guys connect with that energy. But I definitely am getting someone here is learning. It looks like this is the energy you're coming to is realizing, hey, I don't have to do all this on my own. Even if you feel like you can't trust people, I definitely am getting someone is learning how to work with the universe more. And it's going to help like give you a break here as well. Because with the four of swords, it's important for someone to like, it's, it's, I'm getting like someone may be like all work, no play. And you may reach your breaking point. So some of y'all, that may be the time that you realize you need to lean on the universe some more. And you may acknowledge that you haven't been doing it. Someone may feel like they have, but then there will come a time where you realize that you haven't. But at this time, it's going to change the course of your life because then here comes the will of fortune. These big, happy changes begin to take place once you learn how to work with the universe to manifest what you desire. And how protected you actually are. Let's see. What advice do you have for Aries? What advice do you have for Aries? Ace of Pentacles. So you have a major opportunity coming in. Their advice is not to allow this opportunity to pass you by. So seize the moment here. So there's some sort of offer coming in. It's a solid offer, something that you can rely on. And they don't want you to allow this opportunity to pass you by with Knight of Swords. So when that, whenever this opportunity comes in and you'll know it, You'll know it. The Ace of Pentacles is not something that you can ignore. So when, once this opportunity presents itself, they want you to seize the moment. This is definitely going to help your finances. All right. Any other messages for Aries? Any other messages for Aries? Queen of Wands, the Chariot. So they want you to be confident, have more confidence in yourself. And your ability to manage things and not to allow room for any distractions. The chariot is focused on his mission. He doesn't allow room for any distractions and he definitely doesn't allow anyone to tell him how he should drive his car. If they're riding alone, they better stay in the passenger seat or the back seat, but they don't allow room for backseat drivers. So they're basically telling you it's time for you to be in full charge over your life and the direction your life is going. Not to allow room for any distractions. Uh, let's get a couple of oracle cards and we will close this out. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share, like. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Final message for Aries, please and thank you. Final messages for Aries. 
mature man. Someone may be slightly older than you or some of y'all may be this mature man. What about this mature man? Okay, it looks like you will have some communication with this person. Why is this important? Why is this important to Aries? Ice King. So they may be in a boss position as well. Um, it looks like someone who, who has been single for a little minute as well. They may enjoy their singlehood, but I'm not getting so they could play the field. It's just they enjoy peace over company <laughs> is what I'm getting. What else do they need to know about the situation? Destiny. Okay, it looks like this is the one you're meant to be with. Some of you guys may meet them at work, but I'm not getting strong work um, signs here. But quite possibly, it looks like there's someone who's in a powerful position. I definitely am getting they've been single for a little minute. Doesn't have to be that long, but I definitely am getting they are someone who prefers to be single. They're not the type to be in a relationship for the sake of being in a relationship. But it looks like you will have commu some communication with this person. Um, but quite possibly you'll randomly run into this person because I am getting that they are someone completely new. So either you're this masculine energy running into someone else or this masculine energy is coming towards you. Give me more. What else can I tell Aries about this situation? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is someone that you are, this is the person you're gonna end up being with. I, I mean, it's clear as day, whoever this person is, I'm not, it looks like it's a faded connection. So you may run into them in the most unexpected way or you've already met this person, but I'm not getting that you've been in a relationship with them because it's like new energy here. But they're very mature. So even that they're the same age, age as you or they're slightly younger, they're very mature for their age. Very wise. They're a bit of a workaholic is the other thing I'm getting. So they may struggle with expressing themselves romantically but there's some, like you and this person will have, like you'll have a great conversation with this person I'm getting, where you both feel like finally I've met someone who gets me. So I'm getting you're both very intelligent. You may be slightly younger than this person, quite possibly, it doesn't have to be. They may work a stressful job, but they, I'm getting, even though it may be stressful, they, they like the challenge. That's the type of person they are. They like a challenge. So don't take it too easy on this person if you're this feminine energy because they like a challenge. If you're too easy, they don't want you. They don't want, if it's, if it's not a challenge, they don't want it is what I'm getting. But I'm gonna leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.